Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do a pros and cons video for my Harry Potter ones that I got. First, I'm gonna start off with for my, um, as you can tell now that you can see the yellow finish that I was talking about, and then, or like around the vines and stuff, there's like looks like weathering to like some like dirt or something. I'll find a good spot and show you guys. Stop. Right there under my middle finger. That right. Like that. I think it's supposed to replicate dirt or something. But in the original movie I remember her wand being more of like a uh like a light green finish or something. And then if you go on to allvons.com, look at their uh, vine card wand in the classic collection. It'll be made of uh, teak, a real teak wood. But this was all I could afford for now, so I may get some real wands made from them. Well, I'll buy the vine card, of course, but then I'll get uh, Harry's and Ron's second wands. Or third, yeah whatever. Uh, the pros is actually really well made. Um, they got the vine carvings all pretty good. Um, it's kind of cool to hold. That's about it for Hermione's one. Up next is Harry's. A lot of times for that one. Um, I remember this area of this handle being all, all the way around. I remember that being all the way around. Then right here there's a big chop off. It's part of the finish, but still. And then about right here. It looks like it's broken going all the way up here and then it splits and then there's like a lightning bolt that's been I don't remember that in the original wand at all. Like in the original one there was a kind of a it was a full a circle shaft about right here and then it kind of dips down a little bit kind of like Voldemort's wand. Um, and then more in person, there's kind of a purple finish. I don't know why. I'll see if you, can, you guys can see that or not. So I'm there, you can see the purple in it. But it's supposed to be like a dark brown wood in uh, actuality. And yes, that is worse because I made it up. So get over it. And then right here it looks like it's supposed to be broken. Um, now the pros. They did do a good work on this one. On Harry's one. Um, his handle is kind of cool to hold if he can figure it out. Which I hold on like that. And again, these aren't noble collection crystal ones, which kind of sucks, but oh well. If you don't have a lot of money, get what you can, what you can get. The rest of the handle design is uh, pretty dead on, I think. Now, on to ROMs. I don't think I can really come up with any cons on this one. This one's like that accurate on everything. Because I looked at some pictures of this one and looked at this one and uh, it's the exact same thing. So this one they actually did pretty good on. I may have uh, all of them 
Don't make me wrong. What on the Azure word? I forget what word hers was though, so I'll have to look it up again. Hopefully, it won't be too expensive. Might just happen to uh, maple and then uh, stain it like how the original wand is. Well, yeah, the only card I can really come up with is this area on the bottom. It's like cut. It, that's probably what they did when they finished the wand. They like cut it from whatever they were making it with. PVC and resin. But, uh, it's like the only thing I can really come up with on this one. But it's a really nice wand though. I like it the best out of the three. The trio of friends. So I'll show you all the ones. Harry Potter's Ron Weasley's and Hermione Granger's one. The trio of friends. That's the reason why I got all three of them for. So yeah. So like I said, trio of friends. Just let me walk at that one again. Harry, Heron, and Martin. Alright, that's it. See you guys.